Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the ninth question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24. Practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A, which is multiple choice questions for one mark each. Now, this question is from the circles chapter. Shown below is a circle with center O having the tangents at point P, T and S. If QR is given as 12 cm and the radius of the circle is given as 7 cm, then what is the perimeter of the polygon P, Q, T, R, S and O? So let us first understand this question. As it is given here that the circle is having three tangents, that is at point P, that is at this point and at point T over here and at point S. And the length of QR is given as 12 cm. And additionally, it is mentioned that the radius of the circle is 7 cm. So OP is the radius. So let us write here 7. And OS is 7 cm as it is the radius again. Now we have to find the perimeter of the polygon. So let me just highlight it. So this is the polygon we are talking about. Now to find the perimeter, we have to add all the sides of the given polygon. Now OP and OS and QR sides are given, but we do not know what is the side length of QP and RS. So if we find out what is the length of these two, we can just add them up and find the perimeter. Now to find this out, we are going to make use of a theorem called as two tangent theorem. So let us first discuss that. Now the two tangents theorem is divided into three points. The first point is the lengths of the tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Now you can see I have drawn a circle here and A is a point external or outside the circle and through this common point I have drawn two lines as tangents to the circle that is tangent AB and tangent AC. Since the two tangents come through the same common point, the length of AB becomes equal to the length of AC. So if AB is 6 cm, AC is also going to be 6 cm. So this is the first point of the two tangents theorem. The second point says that the two tangents make equal angles at the center of the circle. Now from this external point, let us draw a line which connects to the center. So let us draw it this way. Now when we draw a line connecting the external point to the center of the circle, according to the theorem, the center angle which was the whole angle O gets divided into two equal halves. That is angle AOB becomes equal to the angle AOC. Now the third point is the line that connects the exterior point to the center will divide the angle between the tangents into two equal halves. That is, this is the angle between the two tangents. So this line divides the entire angle into two equal halves. That is angle OAB will be equal to angle OAC. Now let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now here there are three external points to the circle. One is at point Q. One is at point R and one is point, I have taken it as A. In the original question, this letter is not given. I have considered this as letter A. Now, A is an external point through which two tangents are drawn. That is AP and AS. So the length of AP becomes equal to length of AS. So let me write here, tangent AP becomes equal to length of the tangent AS. Similarly, if we consider the point Q, that is external point Q, the length of QT becomes equal to the length of QP. So let me write that as well. QT becomes equal to QP. Now the last external point is R. Here, the length RT becomes equal to length RS. So let me write here, RS is equal to R, T. 
Now once we have written this, let us use the other points of the theorem. Now through the external point A, I am going to draw a line which is touching the center of the circle. Now we know that this line divides the center angle into two equal halves and it also divides the angle between the tangents. Now the same point which is reaching the point O touches the point at T on the line QR which means it divides the line QR into two equal halves. Now the entire length of QR was 12 so 12 gets divided into two equal halves that is 6 over here and TR becomes 6. So total length is 12. Now using these points which we had written QT was equal to QP. So if QT is 6 then QP also becomes 6. And here RS is equal to RT. So if RT is 6 then RS also becomes 6 cm by using the theorem of two tangents. Now here we had the radius given as 7 cm and 7 cm. Now let me highlight the polygon and see if we have all the sides of the polygon. So here we have the side OP as 7 cm. So let me write here 7 plus since we are finding the perimeter we are going to add all the sides. PQ is 6 plus QR is a total length so we can take it as 12 plus RS we got it as 6 plus the last length OS is 7. So when you add this up we get 7 plus 6 is 13 then 25 and then 31 and then 38. So the perimeter of the given polygon is 38 centimeter. So let us see if it is in the option. It is option C. So here we have made use of the tangents to a circle theorem and using this we have found out the perimeter of the given polygon. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.